Question 49 of the leak code group anagrams. So given an array of strings, group the anagrams together, you can return the answer in any order. An anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all the original letters exactly once. So in example one, we have an input, which is an array of words, and our output is an array of an array containing words. And these words have been ordered based on their anagrams. So if we look at NAT, and TAN, they all have the same letters in, just rearranged differently. So let's think of a way that we can solve this problem. Oh, so we have this array of strings, right? Now we need to work out which words go in which anagrams or which words are grouped together based on their anagrams. Now the easiest way to think of that we could possibly do this is to order them alphabetically, right? So loop through the strings and order them alphabetically. So with this one, it will be AET. With this one, it will be AET. With this one, it'll be ANT, AET again, ANT, and ABT. So as you can see, this one, this one, and this one can be grouped together. These two can group together, and then you have this one on its own. So how do we get from this to a returned answer where each one of these are grouped in arrays? We could use a map data structure. And what we do is we loop over, say, the sorted array. So we'll create this as an array. We'll loop over this and we'll map the values within the strings array to the values within the sorted array. So it's going to look like this. AET, we loop over, first value is EAT that's going in there. We get to the second value, T is now going in here. We get to the third value, we've got ANT, we add TAN in there. We move over, we've got 8, which goes in here. We move along, we've got NAT, which goes in here. And finally, we've got ABT, which is going to store that. And then all we need to do in order to get our answer is just return the values. Now, in terms of time and space complexity, time complexity in this instance, we are looping over this array to begin with, which is going to be N. And then we have to loop over each individual word in order to sort it. And the sorting of each string will be K log K. So n is the length of strings, and k is the maximum length of a string within the strings array. And then space is going to equal o n k, the info that we're storing within the map. So let's write this out. So first step in solving this problem is to create the sorted array. So let's do that now. The way we do this in JavaScript is we can map over strings, pass in string, and then we split the string, so we turn it into an array. We sort the string, and then we join the string, so we turn it back into a string. That will give us an array of strings that are sorted alphabetically. Now we need to create the map data structure. So we can just define this as a plain object. And then we need to loop through the sorted array we just created and check if the map contains that value. If it doesn't, then we can add it to the map and map it to the string values. So let's do that. So if map doesn't have sorted i, so it doesn't have the sorted value, we can create it. So map sorted at i is equal to strings at i. And remember to put this within an array because we want to return the values organized within arrays. Else, if sorted is already in map, then we can just push the value into it. So map sorted at i dot push strings at i. And at this point, what we have is we have an object containing key value pairs and the key is the sorted value and the values are the strings. So in order to get the values out of this object, what we can do is we can return object dot values and pass in the map. Let's see if this has worked. Okay, great. Let's submit it. And there you have it.